Hello, my minions. This is Master Seder, and uh, I thought I'd start off this episode with um, a little test I've been doing with farming. I was looking at, and I've been doing some research, and I've watched some videos on how to farm. And the idea is that from water, you can till out four spaces. So they could actually till out to here from that water if it was on the same level. And these are the standard farms that you get in villages. This is a super flat world I generated. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but these these farms end up... I've been doing a lot of research, trying to plan my farm that I talked about last episode. And these farms are kind of what I've got right now. And they're extremely inefficient. Extremely inefficient. I found out that with one block of water, you can... You can keep an area nine by nine uh, watered. So that's 80 blocks. 81 is the water block. But if the water's in the center, um, it can reach four to the side. It can reach four to the back. And it can reach four at an angle. So even though this should be out of range because it's more than four blocks, officially it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. It's officially eight blocks according to the game. It still counts as four from the water. Which means this is probably a bug and it's going to change. You're only going to be able to go four. So it'll go one, two, three, four. Which means this will be it. And it'll be a diamond pattern around this water. But for now, you get a four by four thing. And this, is, this will stay hydrated the whole way. So on the other side of this town, I built a farm. A functional farm. Um, using one, well... Officially, two blocks of water. Let's go over here, and I'll show you what I've built. So, let's go up. I'll, sh I'll show you from the top of the church. Up here, there is a great viewing platform for my farm. You can see it's 9x9, nine nine and I've got it in quadrants. I've got that as carrots. Those are potatoes. And then in the rest, it's wheat. And then I've got a, a dispenser here with water in it so that it can... Uh, it can dispense water over it, and I know I've talked about this before. I actually lose some crops because the water destroys it when it ro flows on top. But I think in the overall, it's good. I've got I've got um, ladders here to uh, whoops I fell down. I've got ladders there to um, keep the water from seeing that as a whole because if it saw this this trench around as a whole it would only wipe out this like this row right here where the wheat is growing it wouldn't get these corners but with the ladders up it considers every single one of these solid for water and the water will flow off the edge and the reason I've got the the fences here is just to stop the water flowing and I fell down again so let's see it in action now I'll go ahead and go into my inventory and get rid of this get rid of this and uh i guess this isn't the best it's it does take four or five levels in order for it to function properly but we'll cons we'll consider those when we get into actually building these in my let's play so uh turn on the water water comes down harvests my 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 stuff for me now a couple things are wrong i mean it flows off the edge which is fine but right here on the edges every now and again they'll get caught all you have to do to pick those up is to run along the edge of the fence but because the ladders hold up the water the water doesn't flow down so you run around the edge you turn off the water oh i gotta pump it again turn off the water and now it's ready for planting again and we'll let it sit for just a second while everything flows to the edge i got in these trenches let me go ahead and get inside for you in these trenches i've got one water in this back corner which in, ends up pushing everything around to the other corner and it does a couple step downs but then when I get to the other edge uh, all my stuff's here and that was actually a pretty good one I got 44 carrots I got out of 16 carrots planted I got 44 out of 16 to potatoes I got 48 I got 48 wheat and uh, sorry, I was thinking, and a bunch of seeds. 
Now the way that the only thing that would make this oh I got rid of I jumped I forgot you don't have to jump across here because the ladders hold you up you just float across. Now to get 100% yield what you would need to do is uh, set up pistons underneath all four or all eight of these blocks so that they pulse up once to break whatever's on them before the water flows down from under there so it doesn't destroy because everything that grows on these eight blocks is destroyed by the water. Yeah. So anyways, that's my farm. Patent pending. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anybody build a farm so large with just one cube of water in the center to keep everything hydrated. So I'm going to claim it as my own. This is the Master Staters until whenever. So I'm going to go ahead and build these in my overworld, in my Let's Play world, and we'll see how well they work in my underground uh, environment. Okay? Cheers. All right, we're back, my minions. Now, I know last time, well, not last time, just now, you guys saw my my design. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. My design for my new uh, uh, farms. And it looks like things are still going well. Um, the lighting glitch is still here every time I reopen my uh, thing, but whatever, right? So, uh, I've been doing some thinking. I'm going to talk about a couple different things while I work today. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of these. I can put some of this back and some of that back. Oh, I got eggs I got to put away. Oh, wait. I think my egg thing is full, isn't it? Yeah, I'm full of eggs. I guess I'll have to start a new egg one. And it looks like there's eggs over there to pick up. So anyways, a uh, couple things. First, uh, a while back... I'm not entirely certain how long ago it was, but on one of my older videos, I asked for suggestions, and uh, I got a suggestion that, let me go outside, I got a suggestion that I need to, uh, um, I don't even know what daytime it is, it's not, it's nighttime, ooh, and I'm about ready to have to harvest my grass, okay, no grass, my, uh, what are those called, reeds. So I, I got a suggestion that I need to connect my little house here, which looks really dumb. I hope they get that lighting finally figured out because that looks really bad. Anyways, I, they suggested that I take my, my house here and build a village that attaches to that village over there. And I, I, I didn't really... I, I've been thinking, and I think that's a really good idea. Um, mainly because as I was, as I've been going through things in my house, inventory-wise, I'm realizing that there are more things, inventory-wise, that I uh, I need. Let me get that fixed. There are more things, inventory-wise. Do I have a different axe somewhere? I think they're downstairs. Than f will fit in my little storage room. And I was thinking about that, and uh, I th I'm thinking that what I want to do is I want to have houses in that neighborhood that will go all the way over to the other uh, town that will have a specific, um, specific jobs. Cool. So, like, I'll have a house somewhere that will house only iron items. That's it. Just iron items. Nothing else but iron. So, um, yeah. I think that'd be very cool to have an iron house. And then have a, a stone house where I keep my cobblestone and my stone items that I... Maybe a... Maybe a cooking house where I smelt items. And all it is is it looks like a bakery or something. And um, maybe I can even get a, a baker uh, villager to move in. And then uh, it'll have just tons of ovens. And that's where I'll do all my smelting. And uh, I already have one flagged over in that, uh, that building over there. Or in that town over there to be my... Uh, to be another, uh, what's the word? Mineshaft, where I'll 
have my mine shaft built. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead. I've got plenty of wood here to build houses with. And I'm going to try to try to build things out so that I've got a good um, a good design. Try to make the houses small but meaningful. And I think I want to move over there too. Uh, I'll keep my farms over here. But like I'll have a wool house where all my wool will be uh, taken care of. And then I'll have a uh, have a uh, dyeing house where I'll keep all my um, my dye colors. So darn it! And since I'm using the 1.4 snapshot, uh, actually I've got I need some sticks. Uh, since I'm using the 1.4 snapshot, I don't have my tree capitator mod that I use used to use because they don't have it built for 1.4 yet. So I'm stuck cutting down my my forest by hand. Which isn't that big of a deal, I guess. I don't mind. It's just that I've got to make sure that uh, I collect everything every five minutes or so. So that's my idea. I, I think that that's what I want to do is I want to... Uh, get a big city built where I will have different things uh, laid out um, and obviously there's a bay uh, area where I can have my uh, like ships come in I'll build a, a area for like a reed farm where I will have a reed farm and uh, I'll do f regular farms and all sorts of fun stuff. So that's the idea. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move out of the ground. I'm still going to keep my... Of course, I'm going to keep my spawners over here. But there's not much else I'm going to be able to do with the spawners. Uh, for now. So we'll worry about that. Let's go down here and collect what's down here. And then... So there's that. Now the other thing I want to talk about is... In my opinion, while I'm doing busy work, uh, if any of you have played Skyrim, you know that the there's a couple months ago the Dawn Guard expansion pack came out, and people on Xbox 360 got it first, and then uh, PC got it, but the PlayStation 3 hasn't got it yet, and. I've been reading, I've been trying to follow news on it over and over and over again. Try to, because I want it. I want the expansion pack. Only rightfully so. And I, since I have Skyrim on the PlayStation 3, I want the Skyrim uh, expansion pack on the PS3. However, if you Google, uh, if you search for the status of that, the status comes back as they're probably not going to release it. That's because... Sony and Bethesda are having just crazy problems trying to release it as a DLC for the PlayStation 3. Now, I'm sure that I, I'm not the only uh, PS3 Skyrim person who thinks this, but they need to figure this out and quick because uh, we want it. And I don't think that it's, it's too much to ask for it to be done. Now, if they say that that the PS3 people just can't have this downloaded content, then that kind of makes us all mad, and I know they're trying to figure it out. But here's my solution. I think... Well, let me back up. When I bought Portal 2 for the PlayStation 3, I also got a copy of Portal 2 for the uh, PC. And that allowed me, since they don't have a lot of the DLC for the PS3 version of Portal 2, they do have the 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 uh, uh, stuff available on the PC via Steam. And if Bethesda took a hint from them for that and they released uh, Skyrim for uh, for the what is it called? The PS3. They took the Skyrim for the PS3 and released it on like gave everybody who had the PS3 version 
a PC version as well. That must be bugged. That's too bad. Then we would just download the DLC and pay for the DLC through Steam or whatever. And we would get uh, the Skyrim that we want. So that's my solution. I think that they should figure out a way to uh, provide users of Skyrim for PlayStation 3. And I don't know how they verify that somebody has it for the PlayStation 3. But I think that if they released it that way so that we could still have it, even if we had to play it on a different uh, platform, I think that we'd be a lot happier. So if for some unknown reason you know somebody at Bethesda and you can give them my suggestion, I think that would be the answer since they're having such problems releasing it for the PS3. Okay, so yeah. Anybody who has a PS3 version of the game should get a downloadable key to have the PC version so that we can have the Dawn Guard expansion pack. That's enough railing on that now. Ooh, I'll take that. So, um, I usually use Tree Capitator to chop down the, these trees, but since Tree Capitator doesn't work with uh, 1.4 pre-releases, I guess I have to start doing it manually again. So, yeah, there will be a There'll be a house associated with this farm so that when I uh, go shopping, go shopping, go chopping uh, wood down, I'll be able to pick up the, the pieces and put them in a house Oops. Uh, in the town and that'll hold all my wood. So yeah, those will... Those will eventually come. We'll see. That's the idea. I want to have little houses. So, over the next bunch of episodes, we'll start building out that town. Trying to figure out what these buildings should look like. And what will hold what, where. And I think we'll even do a, a villager breeding station. Because they should automatically breed based on the number of um, number of doors in town but if they don't then we'll build a breeder I saw a really cool breeder on line earlier today so that was a lot of fun maybe I'll oh I had stuff to put in there so there's that another apple let's go ahead and put my axes in there all right so, now that I've rambled on for a little bit, let's go ahead and finish digging out. Do I have my pick? I do. Let's go ahead and finish. Uh, oh, good. Finish uh, my farms here. I, I originally blocked up. I can take these out now. Come on, boys. I originally blocked it up, and they ended up all leaving because the grass wasn't spreading. As it was coming up the stairs, the sheep were eating it. But now that it's up here, it should spread just fine. So the sheep live up here. The pigs live down. And I was going to go down. Let's go ahead and make a shovel. I got some diamond. I can make a shovel. Not very many levels to enchant that item. But how are these doing? These aren't, these aren't spreading very well. Maybe if I can... Oh, I do have a silk touch. Because I only want... Uh, is, it, is that my silk touch? Yeah. I only want these grass ones in two specific places. So let's go ahead and grab that one as a grass. And we'll... I'll leave... Ugh, no. Sorry, Enderman. I'm taking the grass. And then I can get rid of all the rest of this. Ooh, darn. I've got some stuff for that all right, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this dirt. I'm going to grind some levels so that I can enchant the... Uh, I'll make a... Um, what's the word? I'll make a shovel that is a diamond, and I will grind some levels so that... Oops, so that I can... Ooh, it fell through. So that I can enchant it, and I'll be back. 
All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I turned for a little while. I found out that, indeed, these windows seem to really hurt my spawn uh, my spawn levels in these rooms. So what I did is I closed up the windows, and I've added two lights here that tell me when the lights are on in that room. So when I hit that button, that light goes out, tells me that that room is dark and will spawn. If I hit that Again, the lights are on in this room. I can show you. The lights are on in this room, which means that light's on. And the same goes for this room. When the lights are on in that room, that light's on. And when I hit the button, when I break the button, nothing happens. All right. But when I turn off the lights out there, that light goes off. So I have an indicator to tell me whether the lights are on or not. Okay? So that's what I've done. And in the process, I've gotten back up to level 30. I actually used my shovel a little bit, which is something I didn't want to do, but oh well. Such is life. So let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. You're not really there, so that's fine. I've gotten a few extra bows. Those are all from skellies that have died. Got some food. I found some coal. Let's go ahead and put the coal away. You know what? I'm actually going to unload all my mob drops here. I'll just sort them later. I had to make some glowstone lamps, of which I uh, didn't have any. Ooh, I got some, got some flint that I can add to the flint stash. This, These rooms, these buildings that I'm going to build are going to be so much better. So, let's go on up and enchant this slightly used diamond shovel which we'll then use to help us uh, dig the the exit, or dig the, uh, the, yeah, whatever for the guys. Hi, guys. You guys can hang out there. That's fine. Uh, dig the place out for the cows. So, it looks like most of our grass has grown. I've got one piece of wheat with me, so I'll see how many more... Uh, sheep I can get upstairs and then I will kill the rest of them. Sorry guys and uh, We'll figure it out. So Cool That one's gonna be a very good shovel to have Now that I'm gonna be hitting ooh, and all my nether wart is good Sweet sauce. So let's go ahead and Get in here Come on close. Okay, and let's get some wheat in our hand Hi guys, look at this. Look at what I have for you. Come follow me upstairs. Come on, come on. Everybody come. Everybody come. Are you guys smart enough to walk around if I bring you over to this corner? Nope, you're just, you're dumb enough to fall down. I should. Go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and... Oops. Get a wall set up so that these guys don't follow me all the way around to the other side. So come on. Come on. See it? Come on. Come on. Let's, let's bring you over. Come on. Come on. Come on, boys. Everybody follow me over to this corner. Hello. Why don't you care? Whatever. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And put it away. And then walk around the corner here. Grab another handful. Come on, guys. And those guys will stay over behind that wall. Come on. Oh, he fell into my lava. Walk around the corner. Bring everyone with me. Stay behind this wall. Yo, let's go get another load. See if we can get as many up here as possible. Hi guys. More? Who wants some? Who wants some wheat? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Most of them are staying. Let's see how many come up. Alright, there's a good number good, good another group. down go back and see if I can get one more 
group. Hello? Yeah. Come on, derpies. Come on. Slow but sure. Slow and steady wins the race. Come on, boys. And... Get them over here. I think that's all I'm going to do. Go ahead and block off this with some stone. And then, as much as it pains me to do this, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the rest of those sheep downstairs. So, let's go ahead and get those cleaned up, and I will be back. All right, so we got all of them up here. Now, uh, yeah, it just occurred to me as I was down there. I only had to kill two just for all you guys that may have been worried about how many of them died. I only had to kill two. So, we're going to go ahead and clean out these. Anyways, it just occurred to me that even though uh, I got cows up there, it appears to me, is this on breaking as well? Yeah, I'm breaking three in efficiency four. It appears, it occurs to me that Enderman will still be able to steal those bricks and as horrible as that is, I don't really care because I don't think the sheep are dumb enough to fall down a hole that, uh, that I've created. Wow, that is so much fun. So, I don't think... I don't know. I don't know. That's that's the kicker right there, is I don't know if... Uh, if these sheep will be dumb enough to fall down a drop that's more than five, or more than four. I guess I can test it by going up top and uh, chopping one block out. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. So let's go ahead. Is that right? Nope. It's that one. So uh, let's go ahead and get our pumpkins that we chopped out so that we can... Yeah. That's better. All right. So what I've done is I've I've dug this out. This is the pig zone. I lost a few pigs because they kept uh, they kept getting in the way of my pick. Um, this right here is a test. I dug this out so that I could see if sheep actually are dumb enough to fall the five blocks, five four blocks, I guess five with the ceiling, fall down these holes to their doom. I think they're going to be smart enough to walk around. And I'm assuming that the pigs are going to do the same thing. So, um, yeah, I need to eat a little bit. But I just wanted to bring it to your attention that this part is, as far as I'm concerned, done. Like I said, this is the Enderman test. If the Endermen steal grass, I want to make sure that the pigs stay where they are, or the sheep stay where they are. And likewise, the pigs, when I put make this all grass, I'll eventually replace all this... Uh, this dirt or this stone with grass and then I will dig out below as much as I can and move the cows down so uh, and then I think I'll do half slabs or something here something more I don't know something fun but I gotta get off of here nope get off of here oh yeah I can't double double tap because I'm out of food so we're going to leave it here. I don't know how long this episode is. If it's a little bit longer than normal, then I apologize. But uh, yeah, we're going to finish that up later. And then we'll start planning um, our uh, our world, our, our world, our uh, little town that we're going to build on the way over to the other town. So uh, yeah, well, this is Master Crusader signing off. Thanks for watching today. Looks like we're ready to chop down trees again. It's always fun. 
except it was more fun with a uh, tree capitator. Let's go ahead and let this guy inside. And, oh yeah, I've got serious knockback. Hey, oh, I'm just, I'm starving. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna leave it here. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. This is Master Crusader signing off, and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, yeah, I just saluted to y'all. <laughs> later.